I think realistically since I've took over uh, it has been a degree of firefighting job. We were handed a, a squad that was realistically decimated. Uh, we've tried to rebuild that through attracting local junior talent, uh, trying to uh, re-energise a few of the, the old guard and try and bring th through some young fellas like we had. Uh, we went out there with a side today with I think we had five 18 year olds playing, uh, which is a big ask in the Iron League. We're fighting the good fight. Uh, the aim this year was to try and push on and try and break into the, the top five and hopefully the, the top four into the playoffs. That was really the, the be all end all. Uh, massively important to that is trying to win away games, which has been a, a major Achilles heel for the, the squad. Uh, we also struggle with squads con consistency away from home due to some of the lads' work. Uh, so it's a, it's a work in progress. Uh, and that's kind of how it's been in the majority of the games where we're not far away but we're just knocking on the door but probably a lack of experience and that's only going to be gained by playing more and more games at this level. Again, the, the league is so tight, there, there's there's nothing between the teams and to be honest you could probably get into a playoff spot or relegated quite as, as handily this year. It's I don't see any stragglers or, or weak links this year really. Uh, unless somebody takes a dip of form or, or goes in a real bad run, which will put them in trouble. But unlike last year, where you probably had, to a degree ourselves, disconnected along with Seapoint, uh, Tullamore and, and Thomond, this year's not uh, not the same uh, kind of worms at all.